Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Brampton Gardener and today we are going to be doing more soil blocking, potting up some plants, and um, starting some new seeds. I have my soil here and it is in this bin. I'll put it on here just to keep it nice and keep it nice and warm to do its job. So I am using an indoor soil mix. It is not a seed starting mix, it is a indoor potting mix. And that means that it does not contain um, some of the items in it, like bark and compost that can uh, perpetuate fungus gnats. So fungus gnats are the bane of every indoor growing space. And so I started using this this year and I've also added boiling water and I'm letting it do its thing. Now I know that kills some stuff off, but you know what? I'm gonna be adding fertilizer. I will be adding that later. I do not wanna deal with fungus gnats because my grow room is in my bedroom, okay? And if you've ever had fungus gnats swirling around while you're trying to sleep, super annoying. So that is the risk I'm going to take. So I have added um, the boiling water in. It is nice, I mean, this is steamy hot right now. Um, perfectly moistened if I was going to be potting it into regular potting containers, but it is not wet enough for uh, soil walking. So I'm gonna add, and I have cold water now because it is very hot to work with. So I'm just gonna add a bit of cold water to it. Give it a nice stir and find my gloves. Where did I take my gloves? I put them somewhere. I had them, I had my gloves. Uh, because soil blocking and then switching to the other stuff, like it just, my hands get so dried out uh, from work. I work with my husband, we do drywall taping, and honestly, my hands get so dry from <laughs> the drywall mud. Um, and then gardening on top of it, just, I have learned over the years, as much as I, you'll still see me get my hands in the dirt. Um, but when I remember, I do try to wear gloves if I can. Especially when I'm operating like the camera and stuff like that, it just makes it easier, so. Like we're gonna need all of that water might need a little bit more so I'm going to find my gloves and get more water be right back oh found my gloves are right there and I got a hole in my glove <laughs> did that happen uh, oh well okay so we're gonna get this a little bit more moistened you don't want it too wet uh, but you don't you, you have to have it the right consistency like I mentioned before otherwise your soil blocks are not gonna stay together. You kinda want like a wet, sandy consistency. When you squeeze it in your hand, it's gonna need to stay together and drip out. So we're gonna put a test. Ooh, drippy, drippy, looks good. Okay, two weeks ago today, I started my other seat. So that was when the other video um, was done. And then I did the update video where I put um, I've always used this, these styrofoam trays uh, for seeds with the uh, soil blocks, right? Because they're just perfect size, they work great. Problem with this is it's insulated and I didn't think of that when I bought the heat mats and I put them on the heat mats and it did not work so well. I did find a bit of a workaround with that. But for future reference, I will only be using cool flowers or seeds that don't need heat just to germinate, um, that don't need the heat mats on these uh, styrofoam trays. So note to self so great for especially the larger soil blocks if you're doing like the two inch um, soil blocks which I'm not gonna do any of those today I will be starting this probably fairly soon uh, for things like the canna lilies nasturtiums things like that that are just the seeds are way too big to fit into this size soil block so uh, this is gonna get full of the mini soil blocks but I'm not gonna be starting any seeds in that I'm actually gonna be using it to start potting up my petunias. Uh, that will be that will be another video. I will show you how I transplant up a few. But these are all petunias, except for these are the stalks, and they germinated within like two days. And then I have some lobelia. Where are the lobelia? Here they are. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. So we're just going to be uh, making all the soil blocks, and then I am going to be going through and starting some seeds for some more flowers, and tomatoes, and veggies. All the seeds. All the seeds. Let's do this. All right. So I feel confident in my mix right now. 
I think it's pretty good. We'll give it a go. And then um, probably gonna, I'll do a few just to show you how it's done. Um, the trick is to make sure you have a flat bottom. No, <laughs> I'm working on that. Okay, so the trick is to make sure you have a flat surface to be working on in your tray. Um, if you're doing a lot at a time, you're better off doing like having a tray that holds all your soil and then a smaller um, one to work in because you need to be able to push it down flat. And you have to use both hands. If you don't use both hands and you try to use one hand, you're gonna accidentally hit the plunger part and then you're the, they're gonna come out as you're like trying to do it with one hand. You can't, it won't work. I'll try. Okay, so you're just gonna work it on there, push, push, push. And then, looks nice. Um, I always forget to bring the scraper, but if you don't have a scraper, you can just kind of use your hand. It's feeling really, really wet, so this might be too wet. We might have to, we'll see. If they hold their shape, then they're fine. If they hold their shape, we're good. All right, so. So, on this tiny little tray, we have 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 cells! I can plant 80 plants in this Tiny, tiny, tiny little tray. Mind blowing. Still can't get over how efficient, <laughs> how efficient it is. And also how little soil, right? Like that's why like, I, you don't have to worry about it holding on too much because it's, it doesn't get too heavy because you're not using a ton of soil. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sets of twenty soil blocks. Who wants to do the math? Two hundred forty. Anyway, twelve sets. Two hundred forty seedlings can go on this track. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> Oi! So maybe before I start that huge tray with the petunias let's just see let's just see I want no I want the petunias all on that tray so I might not start all the seeds in this yet um, but it, it'll be ready I can just cover it with kind of a bit of saran wrap and then I can keep you know I'll keep watering them In my mix so I'm gonna have to go and um, I'll do an, another batch of that but I, um, I'm gonna be going three rows down and then I can go one two three four five six seven rows across so three times seven is 21 so I will have 21 groups of 20 so that means when I get all of the other soil blocks on here I will have 420 420 cells for plants 420 plants to go out into the garden and uh i don't know if i started that many petunia seeds if not um i will be putting just in like the lobelia and anything else can go in here with them 
seat time. And I've already started the orange hat and the Olapoca. I have Canary, Tumbling Tom, Baha Ha, Tiny Tim, and then I have the Olapoca and the orange hat. So we'll set those to the side. So I have these one, two, three, four um, varieties that I'm gonna be starting now. Okay, so now I have lemon basil, lime, no, I'm out of lime basil. All right, we'll be doing that. I have large leaf basil, and then I have the red Reuben basil. I also have some of the basil, I thought I'd save my own lime. Next up is the um, Siam oh. Queen. So I did the large leaf and that, and then I'm doing the Siam Queen. I'm gonna do I really like these, so I'm going to do two rows of these, so we'll have eight. I know this is a lot of basil, but they're so pretty. I use them ornamental, and I use especially the cinnamon basil and the cyan basil as cut flowers, so here, and then we can do four, it says direct, so, oh my god, these are huge, these seeds are huge, look at the size of that, big old, you can't see it like that, can you see it in here? seeds they're really big compared to the others and I don't know really which way is up or down so we're just gonna do them sideways Cleaned out. they actually remind me kind of of a small uh, four o'clock yeah okay so there's the borge burp, 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 burp. Oh. I need cilantro Mexican mint marigold and parsley so I'm gonna do two rows of the Mexican mint marigold because I'm really excited about that it's also called Mexican tarragon, I think. Sit like that on my little heat mat, and it's gonna have its own nice little humidity dome. So, one tray done, 500 million more to go. You know, online, and it says uh, they should have been in the fridge for two weeks prior to seed starting them. So, yeah, it was a fail. It was a fail on my part. So, I'm gonna look at the seed packet, see what it says, and um, maybe I'll just throw the whole pack in the fridge for two weeks and then we'll start the, seed, <laughs> the seeds later. What? Hello. What's up, chicken butt? Oh. 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 Ah. Yeah, where's your bone? Where's your bone? Ah. Where's your bone? Off. Ah. Our dichondra, I've never grown dichondra from seed, and they are cute little round seeds. Okay, so you're gonna do the toothpick my coat, and I'm gonna just do, I think I'm gonna do a whole pack of 20, because these are also known as Silver Falls, they're very cool, and um, Nicole at Nicole Smith Gardening was saying that you can use these as a ground cover, like in the ground as well, which, I've only seen them in containers, so. And I got I got lots of containers this year. I have some new hanging baskets that I bought on clearance at Walmart last year to go on my um, rack thingy. Um, and then I have those giant pots, so I'm gonna be needing lots of trailing plants this year. So hopefully Dichandra is gonna be that, be that plant for me this year, we'll see. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm interested in putting it into the, the ground cover as well. So I might use all of them. We'll see. I at least want 20. I at least want to use up a 20 pack. A salt pack over here. I want 40. <laughs> yes? Oh, 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 okay. Or I can split that block and push it that way and have the middle be the twosies. Mm. 
<laughs> 20 or do I need 60 or do we need 40 of each here and I'm going to divide these this, this and I'm going to scooch those out of the way no I'm not it's my network I'm scooching them this way all right I'm going to do the same thing on the other one so there are part of these Okay, so I'm gonna do another 10. And I know it sounds like a lot, but like when you buy a flat of petunias uh, or a flat of impatience, you're buying 48 at a time. So. Well, I have a lot of petunias to use. I think I'll do the 30 for now. I can always start to start more if I change my mind, right? So I'm just gonna do three rows of it though. Okay. Oh no, I got lots more. I can do. That's that's way too many. 20 Rosal? That's that's too many. Right? That's that's crazy talk. Unfortunately, I checked on how to start uh, Roselle after I planted most of them. So uh, they do recommend to snippy snip and and to um, soak them in water first. So that's what we're gonna do with the ones that haven't been buried. So I'm gonna do, I've, I've got 10 that I already pushed down into the soil. I have got five sitting on the top. So I'm gonna do 10 in and 10 out and we're gonna compare. So I'm gonna get my 20. <laughs> Prairie drop seed is a beautiful grass. So I think I'm gonna do two rows of, three rows of those. Those are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Straw flowers are like little sticks. Very similar to verbena, but smaller. Um, and I love straw flowers, so I'm just going to go all in. We're going to go do a whole block of 20 of these. Well, I give West Coast Seeds credit. That's a lot of seeds in there. It's a very generous amount of straw flower seeds, so cool. Might as well stick with my cool season stuff along at least one edge of here. And then I'll be able to open that row up instead of like doing it all kind of haphazard throughout. Um, this is calendula. Calendula is very weird shape seeds, so. I'm just gonna try and lay them sideways on top. Just leave that in there, that's a great idea. So those are the stalks, and that's vintage, I think, right? Reseeded for me really well last year, so I'm just gonna do two rows of this real quick. And the shervel, um, we'll do a couple rows of those. Never grown this before, so. Change it up a little bit. Did you see where I put my Rebecca? Did you see the Rebecca? Did you see it? Did you? Because I have some cherry brandy to be Rebecca, and I just didn't label them. Because I have some that I, I know I saved seeds, and then I have seeds in here that I haven't labeled. dragons that I decided to save off of something. Maybe they were a special color or something. So we're going to put these ones on the end. A question mark. And 20 of those. So I saved them for a reason. They must be good. Seeds. That's it for seed starting for today. Uh, <laughs> that's it for seed starting for today. Uh, okay, so that's it. 
I'm gonna put these all on the shelves, get them under the grow lights, or on the heat mat, wherever they need to go. I'll get it all organized. I'll show you a picture at the end, all right? Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, <laughs> you're real troopers. Uh, I'll see you next time, bye. What are you eating? Are you eating the dirt that fell? Really? Really, Dex? It's gross. That's gross. On the camera, can you see Dexter? Can you see Dexter? Hi. Uh, so yeah, these are the lime petunias and the um, photo finish burgundy petunias that I got from Stoke Seeds. And they are in the trays like this because they were pelleted. Hi, baby, just wait. Okay, they were pelleted seed, whereas these petunias, um, I don't know if you've ever, if you've never seen a petunia seed, they are so ridiculously tiny. They're even smaller than a snapdragon or poppy or anything like that. They're like some of the tiniest little seeds ever. So that's why I do them in the broadcast method because try and get one seed per soil block would just be, it doesn't work. So let's, uh, bless you, bless you. So now that we got all the soy blocks ready to go for now. No, I'm still talking. I'm working here. I'm working here. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll do something fun in a little bit, okay? I know, he's really confused why it smells like dirt in the, <laughs> in the kitchen. I know, why does it smell like dirt in the kitchen? Go look out the window. Go look out the window. Go look out the window. Yeah, go. Where's your bone? <gasps> do you need a new bone? Is that, is that gonna make you happy, a new bone? So next, uh, wait. Oh, don't almighty. <laughs> okay, so next up, we're gonna start some seeds. It's all gonna work out. So this is gonna be potting up. Okay, so that's it for. So that's. I have this section that I will use um in next week or the week after. Zip it! There's geese flying. You're a jerk. <laughs>